what about your life uh, inspired you to take this path to to um, commit to the child welfare space and to make a commitment to teenagers in particular? Was there something in your own life that um, that kind of pushed you in this direction? I think a lot of it just came from my desire to mother, um, not necessarily being a mother, but to mother and care um, for children who maybe weren't mine. Um, I babysat a lot of kids and I found that man, I, I really loved these kids, even though they weren't mine. And I thought I would love to be able to show that kind of love and care, um, even if these kids aren't mine or aren't with me forever. And that kind of drive, that drive to love a child, knowing that they may not be with me forever, knowing that they're going through a lot of tumultuous time and a lot of change and have lost a lot of their power um, to be able to feel like you can be some kind of anchor. You can be some kind of ship that's not moving in the waves, um, even ever so briefly, um, was just a passion point of mine. And especially once I was at CASA and able to see how frustrating this system was from a teenager's point of view how very little say they had in what happened to them and how frustrating it was that they got bounced around and, and things happened that were, were not their doing and feeling that this system is not built for humans. It was built for processes and I wanted to care about the humans. I wanted to love the humans. That is that is so amazing and uh, so inspirational as well. 